そのためなら駒になって死んでも後悔はない定義What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Ace Operative, and today, people, I will be reviewing Boruto Naruto Next Generation, episode 45, Memories from the Day of Snow. This episode made me feel really bad for Ryogi. To see his own mother and father die right before his eyes, as well as to see the attacker that had done it, this kid was traumatized. I just feel sorry for this kid because now he has his uncle. His uncle is secretly brainwashing this kid. Like, you could see it all throughout. We saw it from all those other episodes that led up until now. This, his uncle is brainwashing this kid. He wants him to understand, yes, we're doing what your father and I have done, you know, from the very beginning. We're trying to create this type of justice so that the powerful do not crush the weak. But the weak can overcome the powerful. They can create this type so that in, in what they're doing, they are preaching their own type of justice. And people are eating this up. Like in the beginning of the episode, you see that a mass protest was going on in the streets of Konoha. And these people literally thought these guys were doing the right thing. But these guys have an ulterior motive. They're using this hype this crazy situation to be able to still do their deeds and they are about to do they're about to do their most biggest crime coming up in the next episode and most likely the next episode will be pretty much the conclusion of the Byaku, byakuga gang arc it, it's unbelievable how they did this i mean i don't know about you guys but i was blown away by each and every step because i want to understand like why are they doing this in this episode we saw gecko has brainwashed this kid to a point to where he wants to get revenge against anyone who stands in the way of this type of justice so when we see shikadai and ryogi playing shogi shikadai was actually able to win and then shikadai had just one question to ask Rio. Just one question: Are you part of the? Or I think he pretty much screwed up, accused him. You are part of the Byak Byakuga game, aren't you? And Rio, you know, like shrugged it off. Check it out. You don't have no proof. You don't have nothing to back up this claim. And Shikadai like says, I wouldn't make this assumption if I didn't have proof. And he literally pointed to the um to the lamp in which he had brought, and he had said that that lamp was part of the stolen goods that the Byakuga gang had taken. And when he had said that, the shock and awe that went across Ryogi's face, dog, he knew he was caught. And dogs. To see the atmosphere change at that one second. For this kid to think that he got away with each and every crime and he left. And for him to think that he had not left a stone unturned. He finally got caught. And it wasn't by the Konoha police. It was by his own friend. And Shikadai just wanted him to like just stop doing what you're doing. That's all that Shikadai wanted. But that was where Ryogi's you're living in a peaceful village. You don't know what I've gone through, Shikadai. You don't understand what I had to go through. And Shikadai couldn't understand because he never like went through all that. He had a peaceful life in the village. That's all the Shikadai was blessed and fortunate enough that he didn't have to go through what Ryogi went through, losing his parents. And now he's trying to avenge his parents. So when it comes down to that, I understand where he's coming from, but what he's doing, it doesn't justify it. 
he's being brainwashed by his uncle and it, and that's freaking clear as day and he had real guy also asked like why you're you're still doing the same old move you're not doing you're not stopping me but Shigadai doesn't want to like fight him because that's his friend Ryogi just disappears and he goes to meet back up with the other Byakugan gang members dogs for this to be the reason why he does what he does I find it unbelievable but I really do open the next episode Ryogi sees the truth and Ryogi survives what is going to come because for them if they have to if they kill this kid off and I'm telling you right now that Ryo, like Gecko had that guy kill assassinate his dad his mom and he was going to assassinate Ryogi as well but he did not expect Ryogi to be as special as he was to be able to use a Keke Genkai like that but guys let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below and yo guys I think once this episode is done we might get a little bit more filler and then we'll be getting the tuning exams and the Borto, um, Borto in the movie re anime readaptation hopefully you guys are ready for that because oh boy this is where this anime truly starts to pick up thank you all for watching operatives move out <laughs>